Hey fellow tennis nerds, this video will deal with three different racket lines, the Gravity, the Pro Staff and the Shift, three recent racket reviews I've done. I just want to clarify some questions I've received about them. If you have more, put them in the comments and I will reply to them in the next video. Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I've been testing three different racket lines lately. Just a few comments comparing them to each other. I had a long testing session. These rackets are all good rackets. There's differences obviously but they are all solid quality racket depending on the player so i would say the shift is more of a in between power and control and spin racket it's kind of that modern in betweener like a speed for example where you can generate a lot of spin it's not as forgiving maybe on flatter shots comes in both 16 20 which is a bit more spin friendly and the heavier 18 20 which is a little bit more for flat hitters but it's still gonna give it a little bit of lift uh, it, it flexes a bit differently than some other rackets and that's how it generates a bit more spin potential than you'd think when you look at the pretty dense string pattern. So this is more of a modern mixed racket between power, spin, control. While you have the Pro Staff, which is definitely more of a control line. You have the 97, which is perhaps the most control you can get in a racket on the market today besides the Prestige Tour, I would say. Uh, but this one is the X and that's a 100 square inch racket. Also 350 gram like the Shift, for example, and both in the same Wilson line, but this Pro Staff has a thinner beam, so it's less power. You need to generate a bit more on your, on your own. 60-19 pattern gives the ball a little bit more lift. So I found the launch angle a bit more inconsistent on this racket. It's a control racket, but the launch angle is a little bit higher. If you want the 97, you get better control for sure with the 6019 because it's a smaller head and it's more of a dense pattern. With the Gravity, which I've also been testing, three different options, 1620 racket that's very light. You have some room to customize. While the Pro is also 315 grams. So here is uh, another racket, 315 gram, 1820, like the Shift, the heavier Shift. But the beam is thinner, so this 20 millimeter beam also uh, flexes a little bit more like a traditional racket and has a tiny bit denser string pattern so the gravity pro is more of a control frame similar to the pro staff while the shift is more like a speed pro the shift 1820 so a little bit different depending on the player if you're a modern player that hits with a lot of spin maybe a semi-western or, or western grip i think the shift is your friend the shift or the head speed if you're looking for control you can go either pro staff or gravity or other control lines obviously but if i'm talking about these new releases they're both good uh, I think you want a little bit more plow through on your shots, either go for the Pro Staff 97 or the Gravity Pro. That's gonna give you a little bit more when you hit through the ball. If you have more of a traditional flat technique, I think you like this one. While the Pro Staff X, it's a little bit more lift on the ball, more like a Gravity Tour, wants to take the ball a little bit higher. And as soon as you leave that 18 mains, you're gonna have a little bit more lift on the shot generally. So you have this with the Pro Staff X, you have it with the Gravity, MP and you have it with the shift 300 uh, 1620 so those rackets are more in the same category of lift on the board all relatively control oriented if you compare them to maybe pure arrows pure drives uh, Wilson ultra head extreme uh, but a little bit different for them kind of in between player I would recommend the shift it's a very good frame but for you looking for control uh, you have some nice options with the gravity line or the new pro stuff so these are all good uh, I like them all but for me Kind of in between player i think the shift 300 would be my choice if i could, uh, could choose and i hope this video gives you a bit more information around these frames i can deep dive more into your questions so put your questions below and i'll comment and make a new video with your questions and my answers so that's all have a nice day and don't forget to play sometimes so let's end this video with some final comments about these frames this is nikki playing some competitive sets against my friend daniel my double partner uh, these are some highlights from their recent sets they've been playing and if you want to see full set play on the channel I would like to know from you. I plan to do it anyway, but and to see the the reception But uh, they've played some interesting matches here and I will will publish some of that here But Nikki is a kind of flat hitting traditional player It's not ultra flat, but the way he hits the ball and uh, he loves like the gravity pro and the pro stuff I think the most although he really like the shift as well as a racket but for his game those two rackets make more sense gravity pro and pro staff same with sean here a more traditional style player really schooled player very good one and uh, excellent technique here hitting with uh, two swedish guys uh, who were testing the shift so we were a group of players playing around a bit and testing frames 
and, and Sean liked both the, the Pro Staff 97 and the Gravity Pro. It suited his game really well and uh, not as much of a fan of the shift in his case and uh, might not be working for his style. While John, for example, the, the Swede on the other side was a big fan of the shift. He tried the other frames, but he had a little bit more of a kind of Western grip forehand, a little bit more spin oriented. And uh, he really loved the way the shift played. Most reviews I've seen of the shift seems to be a very positive thing. I really like this frame and it's an excellent racket. These other frames are also good, but they're more of a traditional frame. But I feel like the shift brings something new with how it flexes and plays. And something I really enjoy and I've been playing with it quite a lot. So I just want to make clarify a few points there. And I hope you keep uh, checking out my videos and following Tennis Nerd. Thanks and have a nice day. And don't forget to play some tennis.